this way I'm going to show you the Jandy IQ Pump 01. It's an innovative way to connect your variable speed pump to a smartphone or a device. If your Jandy variable speed is currently connected to the JEP-R, you can easily swap it out for the IQ Pump 01. So on the Jandy IQ Pump 01, there are some buttons on the controller itself. There's this time button here. This controls your scheduling. You can also put it in the quick clean mode. Comes default set at 30 minutes. You can change that in the setting menu. And the Wi-Fi button will connect the IQ pump to a smartphone or device. You can also connect the IQ pump 01 through the internet. There's also a service menu over here. You can leave the pump off. You can also use a time stop. This is factory set at three hours. And the time run is factory set at three hours. This would be your timeout mode. Before using your IQ pump, you want to download the iAqualink app from Google Play or from the Apple App Store. First thing you want to do when you get the app is go ahead and sign up. You want to click where it says, I don't have an invite code. Then you want to go ahead and create a user account. Once you have your account created, we can go outside and we can connect it to the Wi-Fi on the IQ pump 01. So to connect your smartphone to the IQ pump 01, go ahead and click on the app. Then you want to log in. Go ahead and hit the Wi-Fi button. Then you want to go to your phone setting menu, click on Wi-Fi, should connect to the VS pump, go back to the app, and you should have the menu screen. One of the really nice features of the IQ Pump 01 is that you can actually see the wattage on each speed that you set. You can see here that as I'm adjusting it down, the wattage will drop. It's a good way to know how much energy you're using, which whatever RPM you're setting on the pump. On the top right hand corner you can enter the settings menu. This is where you set the schedules. You can also set the minimum and maximum RPMs for the pump. Go ahead and click on the edit schedule. This will take you to the schedule menu. And here you can change the default schedule and you can also change the RPMs by dragging this dial up and down. You can also rename the schedule by clicking on the default schedule and erasing it. I'm going to name this one low speed schedule. You can also change the start time and end time of the program. You can set it to run one day or seven days a week. So I have the low speed schedule set. You can easily add more programs by clicking on the plus sign on the top right. I'm going to add a second program here for my automatic cleaner. I'm going to bring the RPMs up to 2700. I'm going to run it from 1.30 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And you can easily change the default settings for the quick clean, time run, and time stop. It's very easy to scroll through the menu. You can raise the RPMs and you can also raise the run time or lower the run time. So the IQ Pump 01 is the most innovative way to control your variable speed pump using the iAqualink app.